The diplomatic merry-go-round continues, this time Turkey's foreign minister meeting the emir of Qatar in Doha. Mevlut Kavasoglu says his appearance wasn't meant to signal support for one side or the other, and he's now travelling to Kuwait, which is trying to mediate a settlement. Added to the mix, comments from the U.S. Secretary of State Rex Tillerson appearing before a Senate committee in Washington. He was asked about listing the Muslim Brotherhood as a terrorist organization. The Muslim Brotherhood, which I think purportedly uh, would have is up to five million uh, members, has become somewhat uh, segregated within its own ranks with a number of, of organizations within Muslim Brotherhood continuing to commit themselves to violence and terrorism. We have designated those organizations. At the top of the quality chain, if I can call it that, there are elements of Muslim Brotherhood that have now become part of governments. There are members of parliament in Bahrain that are parts of government. There are members in Turkey that are parts of government. And so in designating the Muslim Brotherhood in its totality as, an, as a terrorist organization, I think you can appreciate the complexities this enters into our relations with then the government of Bahrain the government and other governments. Qatar has given its backing to the Muslim Brotherhood in the past. One of the demands of the Saudi Arabians, the UAE and Bahrain is that it stops a position backed by Egypt. The fact the Americans don't appear ready to move to a more hardline stance could be seen as a blow to their negotiating position. In Morocco, the new French president said he was stepping up his efforts to reach a settlement. The King of Morocco has had the chance to talk to several of the parties involved in the crisis. I myself will have a chance over the next few days to speak again to the leaders of Saudi Arabia and the UAE, whose Crown Prince will visit me in Paris next week. And I'll speak again to the Emir of Qatar, among others. And the UN is hoping there can be a local solution. The Secretary General spoke today on the phone with the Deputy Prime Minister of Kuwait, Sheikh Sabah Al Khalid Al Sabah following a number of other contacts to express his full support for Kuwait's efforts to de-escalate tensions and to promote effective dialogue. In Qatar, the country is looking for workarounds after several countries cut off sea routes to the Gulf state. Cargo ships continue to arrive via Oman and there are plans for daily trips between the two. We have inaugurated the new route from Hamad port to Soha port in Oman. We will make seven trips a week between the two and we are also hoping to open new routes soon. For the moment, Qatar insists it's not seeing any shortages. The partial blockage imposed by Saudi Arabia and its allies appears to be having little effect. Alan Fisher, Al Jazeera, Doha.